I'm Andrew Zimmer. And today, I'm gonna to teach you how to julienne and chiffonade properly. And we're gonna make these gorgeous shrimp summer rolls and a homemade nuoc chom. When you cut the food the right way, not only is it easier to work with, it actually tastes better and the texture is better. A julienne is a specific thin cut that can be made on any piece of meat, vegetable, or fruit, anything that can hold that small shape. Chiffonade is a julienne of anything that's leafy, whether it's lettuce or herbs, where you want a very feathery approach. And chiffonade can be very, very, very narrow, or it can be a quarter of an inch thick. Now, in terms of the knives to use for that, you're not gonna use a big slicer. You're never gonna use a serrated knife. You want something comfortable in your hand. It is this knife right here that is a master utility knife. It's six and a half inches long. But the reason that I love it is that it's a very short blade in terms of its top to bottom. But because I can choke up on it and because it gives me both a point, it's not snub nosed completely, it feels so comfortable in my hand. Whether I'm cutting a shrimp in half, mincing scallions, chiffonade of mint, slicing and julienning cucumber, or doing a chiffonade of the lettuce. This to me, if I'm gonna do all those different jobs with all of these different ingredients and I only wanna use one knife, this utility knife is it for me. All right, let's get down to business here. This is a flour sack towel that I've allowed to get wet and then wrung it out. And that is what I'm going to roll on. And my little trick for these is really to let the liquid and gravity do its job. So I put a dry sheet on the bottom. I take paper toweling and gently squeeze that out and then lay that on top of that rice paper sheet. And basically by pressing down on there, I am going to have perfectly hydrated rice sheets that I don't have to worry about. I just find it so much easier to have seven, eight, nine of these ready to go. Now we can start working with our different ingredients. Let's start with our lettuce. And I will always start with my tip of the knife on the board. By holding the knife in my hand securely and choking up on it, I have more control over the knife blade. By using a claw posture on my lettuce, I am making sure that I'm not gonna get my forefinger or my thumb on the board and down. And I have this beautiful chiffonade of romaine lettuce. Next thing that we want to cut are our hot chilies. I'm gonna put this serrano and I'm cutting it very thin using my forefinger as my guide. These are not for the rolls. This is just another option on a chili for our spicy nuoc cham. Red Fresno. Pepper is hollow. So if my knife isn't razor sharp, I'm gonna crush this and not make as fine a slice. I just hold this against my fingers making sure my thumb is back and just push down. I do the same motion as I did with the other cut without my knife tip down. And I go slow, but I wanna teach you to work slow first, then more speedily as you become more accustomed to it. I'm going to mince a little bit of this Thai chili. I'm gonna add that to the simple syrup. Let's do cucumber, shall we? Take the very ends off. I've got what is roughly four inches here. I am going to do a matchstick cut on this, which is a type of julienne. I'm gonna lay this on my board and using the tip of the knife, I'm gonna draw it through. And I'm gonna do another cut like that, about an eighth of an inch until I start to see the seed pod. And I'm gonna stack these the way they came off of there. I just wanna avoid that seed pod, because I don't want anything else that's wet in there. And you should get, even on these Persian cucumbers, two slices per. I'm gonna leave these as four inch pieces. I'm able to make a nice pile of really perfect julienne cucumber for this dish. 
We do have chives here. I can take these fabulous chives, roll them very, very tightly. When you roll them tightly around a wet piece of paper toweling, they stay in one place. And then it makes mincing them very, very easy. The problem with a carrot is that it's hard. It can move on your board because it's round and uneven. So all I wanna do if I'm going to make a julienne of carrot is cut this in, I'll just say, two to two and a half inch lengths. And the very first move that I make is just cut one end of it and make it flat. Now, it's not going anywhere. So I can make consistent cuts starting at the top, as thin as you want to go. I think here I'm about a 16th of an inch. And what I do then is stack them up. I point down on the board, make a nice julienne. And they can go right there for when I'm making my summer rolls. Now, I'm actually going to leave my cilantro tips whole. And I love cilantro stems. Those little cilantro stems have so much flavor and they've got great crunch. I'm gonna add those to my nuoc chomp and I'm going to chiffonade some mint in there. I've got a nice stack of them and I just fold them in half. And then very carefully choking up on my blade, the smaller the item that you're cutting, the less space of the knife you need, you need to choke up so you maintain control over it. And I'm actually gonna cut this with the upper third of the knife very, very thin. My knife tip never comes off the board. I'm gonna take some shrimp. I wanna cut these shrimp in half. I start here in the middle and I'm using the middle of my blade and I come down the knife and when I get here, look at where my blade is. And now I'm gonna come right across with the front part of my blade. That's the movement along the length of the piece of food. Again, starting here, working my way down, and then come across it with my knife. All right, so let's just knock out our dipping sauce. I'm just gonna do the same thing with the scallions. I'm going to add our fish sauce and our lime juice. This is the acidity that knocks back the sweetness from the simple syrup, and then I'm just gonna put a little under two ounces into there. I'm just gonna float one ring of my Fresno chili and hit it with a little bit of ground sesame. And that's our dipping sauce right there. And now we're ready to make our rolls. The only way you make a mistake here is overstuffing your summer roll. Cover comes off of my first roll. And notice, I have my built-in moist cloth right underneath there. So the first thing that I wanna do is to lay down my noodle component. Add my lettuce, my bean sprout, and notice I'm keeping everything so I have two inches to fold into there, some cucumber. And all this stuff adds up. I'm sure at the beginning you were saying, why are you putting so little in there? little bit of cilantro, my chive. I'm gonna put a little bit of chive up there too so you can see it in there. I promised you the same thing with the Fresno chili, the mint. And I'm going to put the shrimp right up there so you'll be able to see that as well. A Little bit of ground peanut. Lift up the bottom here Snug that back, fold in my sides. Once your snugging is secure, I just move these in, snug this back so my roll is tight. Place this flouring garlic chives there, and I just keep rolling. And that is about as nice as a shrimp summer roll gets. 
And when you're cutting everything the right way and you're improving all of those textures, what you're doing is you're making food that ultimately, no matter what, is gonna taste better. There's nothing like a homemade summer roll like this.